what is up? Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Got a, another random video here for you. I was checking out a PSN store for any of the sales, end of the year sales, and I saw that this game called Gundam Evolution was, you know, I'll be honest, I have not been paying attention to it, didn't really know too much what it is, but back in the day I used to like watching Gundam a lot, not too much anymore, but maybe I'll get back to watching some of the newer stuff, but anyway, only story short, I saw it was free to play, and I was like, you know, why not, and I saw it was very similar to Overwatch, and maybe it can give me a um, an Overwatch feel right here, but, but basically... It's basically a six on six, and you got your domination and all that. But as you're gonna see right here, this is probably the worst start I've ever had to maybe any game I've ever played in my life. Like honestly, it's it's not like this thing just released or something um, today or whatnot. But as you see, I get an error of my first ever game, and then I get a penalty for that. I'm like, dude. I how am I getting penalized for getting kicked out of a game or server or whatnot? But they're giving me some penalty where I cannot play. I, I was just like, what the hell? If that ain't the definition of just a bad sign right there, I don't know what is. But it's like, why is it? I've made many videos in my Resident Evil Reverse videos. Why is it in the year 2022 we cannot play games where people can just connect to the games and play them? We didn't have a problem 15 years ago. Why is it a problem now? Why is it a problem the last few years for multiplayer games to be just that? Multiplayer games where you boot up, face a bunch of players, you win, lose, whatever, move on, rinse and repeat. Now it's just like if you can play a game, it's a, it's a miracle. So finally, you know, I'm thinking, okay, I can play the next one. As I said, it's got that similar... Overwatch feel, you pick different Gundams, and I'm sticking with the original one. I says, I'm trying to play my first actual game, and when we're in the preparation phase right now, and, and I'm thinking, okay, you know what, I'm just trying to learn the game, learn how everything works. I don't know which mobile suits are good, which ones are bad, but I guess it just depends on the player, so I'm not good anyway, so it's probably wouldn't even matter if I was playing with something good, but just trying to learn everything, the movement and whatnot. As I said, it, I don't really have a problem with the movement, the abilities. It looked fun. Um, I did the tutorial mission, but I'm getting ready to boot up. There's the old famous Gundam Hammer. Um, you know, I'm ready to go, ready to hopefully whoop some ass and not get curb stomped. But once again, I can't probably look. So, second game in a row, we can't play because now people are leaving the game or whatnot and you can't play. And I'm like, I'm getting like that old reminder of competitive overwatch where like one person leave the game and ruins it for everyone else but like i thought this was just a casual mode so why does it matter just let us fucking play at this point so this is the third one and all of a sudden as i'm loading up i look at the top right hand corner and i see the other team and i'm like oh my god are you like is <laughs> i don't think i've ever started a game more terribly like this in my life like, three straight games, and I can't play three straight games. Now, normally, anyone else probably just be like, F it, uninstall it, that's it, the end. It's just not meant to be, whatever, and never touch it again. But it's like, I gotta at least play one, if, if that's it, just one game. That's all I want to do, play against other people. So finally, fourth time, not the third time, fourth time is trying to finally get the game, and we're defending A and B point. I'm just trying to learn the controls, learn how it goes. And, you know, to my surprise, it... It's actually not a bad game. It's actually a pretty solid, fun game. I could see, if it worked, I could see myself playing for a while, but um, I'm not saying I'm be playing it long term, but damn, I'm just, that, that's the biggest problem, is this connection. Can I play the damn game? Like, I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. It's not like, let me ask you guys a question. Um, it's not like, um, remember back in the PS2, there was a game called Mag, let me know if you remember that game. It was like the whole thing about that game was you had 256 people in a game. That was the whole thing about that. And obviously in that era, online really had been perfected. And it was a lag-fested mess. It was very ambitious, but it was a lag-fested mess. My point is, you know, back then that was like insane. And then we learned how to get online better. Obviously I grew up playing that modern Warfare, the original one in 07, and my Warfare 2, I was more of a Black Ops 1-2 guy. My point is, like, we've been playing these games where, you know, you have 6v6 
games or whatnot. And then if you play like the battlefields, you had even more players on a map or whatnot. You might have 50 plus players or whatnot. The point is, it wasn't like it was a. It just we just started doing it now. We've been doing it for like 15 plus years, but now apparently, it's like we cannot have a game where we get connected. Yeah, it's just everything else is just. It's like that's that's the question you ask. You're not even asking if the game is good. You're asking, can I play the game? <laughs> It's like saying you're going to buy a car, but every time you go to drive it, something just stops you from getting in, and you're not asking questions: is the car good to drive? The question is, can I, am I going to be allowed to drive the car? <laughs> that's what we've turned into with these online games, and that's why I don't blame people who just want to stick to single player, because at least you don't have to worry about that online shit or whatnot. So as I say, I'm playing here, I'm trying to learn stuff, trying to figure it out and whatnot, and as I said, it, it actually was pretty fun. Um, you know, they got little concept here, if you get this... Destroy, not permanent, but you get down, you get revived, but then it can also destroy your body, but someone can revive you, but, um, and that's the sad part about all this, is, like, you play this game, and you realize it's, it's not bad at all, like, it's easily playable, you can have fun, get your friends or whatnot, or play by yourself, whatever, and you can have a good time, you play, have a few hours of fun, but it's all basically just about ruin because of how I showed you the introduction to this video, like, just connection. I just, <clears throat> this is the reason why I just, I get so anal about these type of games, because I'm just asking that same question, can I play the damn game, uh, and, you know, I try to get this guy up in no amount of time, but, um, but it's like, that's the, that's the frustrating part, it's like we don't, it's like that, it's like a long lost art, it's like something got lost in the last five plus years in terms of online connectivity, and we have to rediscover it again, I, I just, the best way I can sum it up, I don't, I don't know what happened, and it's just, it's so frustrating. And once again, when your game is giving you more stress and frustration than your job, then you know something's not right, and it's just, people ain't going to play the thing too much longer. Maybe I'll just have to be at it at the wrong time, but from what I understand, this is something that's been on PC a lot longer before it's been on console, and so it's just like, it doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. Like, why is it so hard? Why is it so taboo? I mean, we only got a thousand people on a on the, this game or something, it's just 6v6, it's not that hard, it's not that big of a deal, I like, just want to play the damn game and, you know, move on, but it's got to be some type of Einstein contest or whatnot, and it, it's just, oh my goodness, and I ran right into that all, I, I was like, I'm fucked, but, but as I said, if you, if you played Overwatch, you've played this game, obviously, it's got a lot of similarities, but it's with Gundams, and you got some of the famous Gundams from all the different franchises, and universes and whatnot and as i said it seems like we have a good time good blast i have a lot more fun the second round but before we get to that second round you're gonna see there's another thing that happens that just it just makes me wonder like why should i even give this thing a chance even though i did enjoy the actual gameplay when i was playing the game but they're trying to um, arm the thing we're trying to disarm and very similar like you know when you arm the thing you go up percent and even if you don't completely just destroy it we obviously on our chance to play we have to go higher than their percent or whatnot but we do a pretty solid job and half time i just get lost in this map because i said it's the first time i'm playing it's my first actual game trying to learn everything and whatnot and but yeah like just tell me if you're like someone who's an older school gamer like me and you you, you just maybe i'm just remember differently but don't you remember games being so much easier to play especially they were online multiple you just I mean, you'd have your problem. I'm not saying there wasn't a problem, but you would just load up in the game and play the game. You wouldn't have to be disconnected every single time. And not, and I get it once in a while it would happen, but here we go. Error occurred, and I'm just like, what just happened? And it booted me to the thing, and I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, are you effing kidding me? And I'm just like, I'm at this point just like wondering why have I not uninstalled the game? And, and I was curious they were going to give me like a, a penalty for that. But I log back in, and I'm sitting there just thinking, man, if they give me a penalty, it is getting uninstalled right at that point. Um, it still may be regardless, but I'm waiting for this thing to load up, and all of a sudden it gets me to round two, so it sends me back to the game. I, it, well, I didn't leave. It kicked me out. So I was just like, okay, so now we're part of the attacking team. we got to go higher than their percent. But it's just like stuff like that, like, why is it such a problem? Why does this happen so good? I mean, you've watched this video. Like, come on now. Like, you know, been kicked out of three games, technically four, but I, I was able to come back in here. It's just, man, just to play one game, I got to get kicked out four or five times. <laughs> no one sees a problem with that. No one in the um, 
who created this stuff doesn't see a problem with that. And as I said, it's not like it's just a random bad day. Like, this seems to happen all the time in these connectivity games nowadays. Or, you know, oh, you're going to connect. And, I mean, it just, you can't even play the damn game. You know, Reverse has its moments. Trust me. Reverse has its moments, definitely, where people lead the game. But, see, now I learn. I'm learning now. Like, you know, yeah, it has this connection. But I learned that at most times because whoever's on the game hosting, when they leave because they rage quit or whatnot, that caused a whole lobby crash. But, this this beats that by a mile. I mean, damn. At least I could play some games, but shit. But um, this part here was definitely the best of my experience. I said, we got to attack now. This is where I had a little bit of fun here. But once again, it's the sad part. Like It's like to get a little bit of fun, you have to go through a bunch of suffering. And that, that's just not worth it. That's not good enough. No, it's definitely not good enough. Like buying a new car, but you're missing two wheels and two front doors. You know, Are you still going to buy it? Hell no, you're not. But... I say I'm up to the pine. Basically, it's just the same map, but reverse. We're on the attacking side. I try to get some snipes here. Um, not really sniping, but you get the point. Long distance at this way this um, beam rifle works. But, but I do like it. As I said, it, it, it's fun and entertaining when it works. Um, this was my first game, so I'm still trying to learn everything and learn where to go, when to press up, and utilize my abilities the best way. And... I say you definitely have fun. If you are a Gundam fan, as I said, you can download free to play. But as I said before, if you can put up with the frustration of trying to play a game, let alone if the game's actually solid or decent, that's completely different discussion there. And they got their, you know, obviously their battle passes. You get your other skins you can buy. You can get the other mobile suits or whatnot. And <clears throat> your skins, avatars, all that kind of stuff. And what not so as you, if you're definitely a gundam fan you definitely get a lot of enjoyment out of that and i said i used to watch it religiously back in the day but haven't watched any of the new stuff in probably the past decade but you know that that's nothing um a day where i have too much to do i can maybe catch back up and watch stuff and that's the problem is you you know you get older you realize you don't have as much free time as you did when you're younger you definitely got to Spare time, and obviously I'm also playing other things too, and those other things I like to watch. But, but I was wishing this thing be a lot more better of experience. As I said, when you can actually play it, you can. But playing it is the problem, and that's the big problem in all of this. And it's just this thing that I just don't, I just don't get developers and why this is such a big deal and whatnot. And right here, we're trying to make a push, and I got a little streak going, and I try to get the gun hammer, kind of miss a little bit, but. That's why I keep your dashes so you can dash the hell out of there. And I'm getting the alt built or whatnot. I don't even know if I do too much or throw it too soon. As I say, I'm just learning it or whatnot and trying to get something. But I do get disabled here. But once again, just because you get disabled doesn't mean it's over because someone can get you up. And someone was able to get me up right here. Thank you so much, homie. I'm able to get him out of the way. And oh, man. Trying to push in there, but you know I missed this because I said I loved when Overwatch first came out, and I played like the first few seasons of it. I had a blast playing; it was a lot of fun. Um, I did enjoy. I did play a little bit of um, two Overwatch two, but the problem is, it's just it's so brutal with its whole reward system. It's just like man, you just you have to basically cut off both your arms, all you just get anything you want. Where the original Overwatch, you get things so much easier, but. I don't know, it's just not the same experience, even though they took it to one less player, but but my point is, this game gives me that the original Overwatch field. It can be fun, entertaining, but unlike that original Overwatch field, I don't have that, me getting kicked out of the game non-stop, and we do get the dub here, and whatnot, but if it works, well, as a once famous guy once said, it just works. Well, I'm sorry, Todd, it didn't work then, it's not working right now, and it's fun when it works, but that's the question, when it works. And that's been a big problem with games, multiplayer games, for, for so many years now. When they work, not if they're even good. That's the thing. It, it, it might work, but then is it going to be good? It's like, can we just get both those checked off? Can we have a good multiplayer game that works? Is that so hard to ask for? But apparently it is. Apparently, I feel like winning the lottery has um, better odds than playing a good online multiplayer game and actually it working or whatnot. But... Am I going to play this anymore? After that, honestly, probably not. 
maybe I'll wait a few days, or maybe I was just a bad, I don't know, but, you know, first impressions are a big deal, and just like with job interviews, you definitely want to make a good first impression, and that was not a good first impression, but let me know what you guys think, have you played this game, do you have the same problems as me, let me know down in the comment section below, thanks for watching, hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you all guys later, peace.